Tesla is doing something fascinating. They're taking over old data centers, changing them in a first of its kind experiment. Not just an experiment, but Tesla is clearly up to something here. I'm going to explain what I think they're doing and how they can profit from their so-called first of its kind data center. Tesla has just revealed the fact that they are getting into an entirely new area, an area where Amazon and other big companies make most of their profits. You probably think of Amazon, you think, well, Amazon makes heaps of money from selling stuff, you know, being like a better version of eBay, essentially. The truth is they don't. In fact, by far the largest share of their profits come from what Tesla is about to do as well. However, people who are criticizing Tesla for this, and there's a lot of people saying Tesla shouldn't do this, tech companies do this, Tesla should just stay in their lane. I've read heaps of messages like this. I mean, it seems like it's become a bit of a thing to just tell Tesla to stay in their lane. I think they're not seeing the full picture. There's more to this story than what has been revealed so far. If you make one of these kind of, you know, I think arrogant comments where you say, this is a joke, Tesla are idiots doing this. Clearly, you just don't quite understand that no, Tesla is not going to be doing this in the same way and for the same reasons that Amazon is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Tesla says it will build a first of its kind data center, but not one data center, lots of them. There's a lot of comments I've already seen uh, to these, this story, this news, there's already been reactions all over the internet, very negative, scathing comments. The key reason for this is because these people just don't know. They're saying this is not a first of its kind data center. That's a lie. That's made up. Tesla is just making things up here. Tesla shouldn't even try to get into this industry. They've got no idea what they're doing. Well, I think that if we don't know exactly what Tesla's doing, maybe it's a little too soon to make those kinds of comments, but I could be very wrong on that. Maybe you do know everything, and so therefore you're well within your rights to these people who are saying this stuff to make these kinds of comments. However, there's clearly something Tesla has not revealed. Guys, if you know what that is, I'm convinced there is something Tesla plans on doing because a first of its kind data center, what does that mean exactly? Is this something to do with full self-driving? Is this something to do with robotics? Is this something to do with renewable energy? I'm not sure. Is it something to do with energy storage? Tesla says it will build a new first of its kind data center. And the automaker is hiring staff for data centers, snapping up existing data centers as well, especially buying existing data centers. The data center business is now huge. It has a market size of between somewhere between 260 to 300 billion US dollars. And this is a growing industry. It's a very, very profitable industry. A lot of people don't realize what I just said before about Amazon, the fact that they make very little profits in particular from their media business, their version of Netflix and you know, Amazon Prime. The profits, in fact, for their actual sales of products business, I mean, which is what we know and think of when we talk about Amazon, is, is minuscule in comparison to what they make from data centers. Most of the biggest companies in the world that are known to consumers for other products, I mean, Microsoft, Amazon, Google with their Google Cloud platform, and even Meta platforms and Facebook actually are making a huge amount of money from data centers now. But Tesla's version of data center apparently will be quite different. Now, I speculate what may be happening here is Tesla could potentially be planning on installing big batteries, data centers, the biggest cost for data centers is energy use. It is. And if Tesla puts in their own large mega pack batteries, they could potentially have like a Tesla supercharger right next to the data center. Now that big battery could actually be running the data center when it's very data intensive. And at the same time, it could be running the superchargers. Now what Tesla would do is they use the big battery to take energy out of the network when it's really cheap, and then they store it in the battery, and then when it's when the network is basically running at an expensive energy cost, they use the battery pack. They do that as well for superchargers. That's my theory, because I think Tesla could have an advantage by doing that. What's a first of its kind thing Tesla are doing? Well, that could be it, but I have no idea. That's just my guess. 
Tesla has shared job postings for engineering program managers as data center roles as spotted by different media outlets within the past week. And apparently, Tesla says it is going to build first of its kind data centers, as well as acquiring existing ones and potentially transforming them. Tesla said this role will lead the end-to-end -end design and engineering of Tesla's first of its kind data centers. It will be one of the key members of the factory engineering team. What's most interesting about all of this is something that not many people are aware of. Tesla has been taking over data centers from X or from Twitter. So why are Tesla taking over Twitter's data centers? Something interesting or something kind of intriguing is going on here. Now, apparently media are saying Tesla has taken over a Twitter data center, which was owned by NTT data. In addition to that, Tesla apparently are in talks with prime data centers to use another data center that Twitter used to have in Sacramento. Could this be something to do with Tesla trying to improve their neural networks? Are they using data centers in addition to help them solve full self-driving? If that is the case, then it's worth doing. I mean, full self-driving, it's a trillion dollar industry. We've talked about that in the past. It absolutely is now, although it's getting old, we've heard it so many times. Everyone's working full self-driving. No one's quite solved it yet, taking forever. It's still an industry worth cracking because if, if Tesla actually do get their cars approved for full self-driving and it's not just for robo taxis like other companies such as General Motors and of course Google or Waymo, then that would be a huge revenue source for the company. The other thing Tesla could do, in addition to using a mega pack battery to run the data center and also to potentially provide energy for superchargers, they could also use it as a virtual power plant selling energy back into the grid when it's more expensive, and then of course, just taking it back out when it's cheap. Now, I don't know the full story here, but it's really gonna be interesting to find out what's happening. And if you know more details, if you work at Tesla, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.